uh, to grab the value inside of the text field so inside here this would be Alex and this would be Garrett so what we can go ahead and do then is actually combine it so what I want to do is I want to say combined underscore text remember this is the variable that we initiated up here and then I want to say plus equals so this will just add this value on every single time uh, we then want to go ahead and append a space on on just on the end of here so uh, what we can do now is we can go ahead and alert say com combined underscore text so we're looping through each uh, input field with the type text so using each we're then uh, adding the value with a space on the end onto combined text and then we're just alerting it out so we can see what result we've got already if I was to type Alex and Garrett and click combine you see the result is Alex Garrett so uh, now what we want to go ahead and do is actually place this inside of the combined div uh, remember we created this div down here where we can display our result and in here I use a selector combined because we're selecting by ID and then I just simply say text combined text uh, and now when I refresh and enter some more data and click combine you see this text appears down here now like I said with the each we actually are looping through each uh, element that has uh, or that exists within this range of this range of selectors so for example if I was to go ahead and just literally create another uh, input field of the type text remember that's important uh, I now have three so I can go ahead and type Alex James Garrett and because we've used each to loop through uh, to loop through every input field with the type text uh, because this selector still matches we're going to loop th three times this time first of all with the index 0 then the index 1 then the index 2 and when we click combine uh, we get all the results here so there's not really any uh, need for you you know using these this selection method uh, but for example if you wanted to go ahead and loop through all input fields to check if they were all uh, empty for example uh, you could do this for things like form validation uh, so for example if you wanted to check all uh, input fields had a, actually had a value um, you can go ahead and do this so let's just uh, give an example here uh, let's get rid of this uh, combined text and let's also get rid of this combined div and we're just going to be displaying uh, a message out so let's just say we want to validate each box so all three of these uh, we want to go ahead and, and check that they have a value uh, within them so if someone has typed something so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this and I'm going to say if uh, and this dot val is equal to nothing then I want to say um, let's just say failed equals true uh, and let's just go ahead and uh, get rid of this here var failed equals false so essentially what we're doing is we're setting a failed variable up here uh, equal to false now that will remain false uh, until here unless one of these input fields uh, is empty so if this dot val for each field equals nothing then failed is equal to true or failed is assigned the value true so now what we can do down here uh, is we can say um, if failed equals equals true alert uh, fill out all fields else if failed is equal to false alert thanks for filling out all fields just as an example um, hopefully you understand what we're doing again I'll just run through it for those who don't we've got var failed equal to false so you know we this comes into this check down here now for each input field we're checking the value uh, against nothing and if the value ie if the first value the second value or the third value is equal to nothing this variable is changed to true and therefore we have this part of the if statement executed if it stayed at false ie if all the values were full uh, then we uh, execute this part of the uh, if statement so for example if I click combine now thanks oh no okay yeah so we've got something going on wrong here uh, let's just double check oh yeah sorry I've included a dollar sign there 
Uh, that's just probably because of my PHP background. Uh, so let's go ahead and click combine. Uh, it says fill out all fields. If I go out and fill the first one and click combine, it still says fill out all fields because these two are empty. Therefore, the failed variable has been set to true. Uh, let's go back and just set the third one, uh, the second one, sorry, fill out all fields. And finally, the last one, and now failed will continue to equal false because it wouldn't have, uh, this line here wouldn't have run. Uh, when we click combine, thanks for filling out all fields. So that's just another example of how it can be useful for say validation purposes. Uh, you might have a lot of text fields that you want to check. Uh, and if you are doing front end validation as opposed to back end server side validation, then uh, this is a great way to do it because you are saving yourself a lot of duplicate code, a lot of nested if statements or a lot of uh, if else if statements. So this is a really good way to do that. Obviously the first example was less uh, more, more pointless than this one, but this one is relevant and using each uh, is a great way to loop through uh, different elements. And remember this doesn't just apply to text fields, it applies to anything, checkboxes, uh, text areas, you know, you name it, any field, even divs for example, or spans, or you know, paragraphs, anything, absolutely anything. So you, as long as you're using a selector here, it will pick up on uh, each element that um, you know, is returned by this particular selector. So that's the each uh, function, if you like, in jQuery and a bit about how useful it can be.